Okay, in this video we're checking another flight stack here from Acon Electronics. This is a 20 by 20 flight stack. Uh, so you got your F4 flight controller here on the left, and you have a 4-in-1 32-bit BLLA32 ESC on the right here. And looking pretty good. So this comes uh, bundled together, and I do believe they are also sold separately. So uh, check the links down in the description if you can buy them separately. Look at the uh, flight controller first, but um, just to show you what comes with everything, of course, uh, they do come in separate boxes. I just didn't mean to me that uh, they are being sold separately, but this is bundled together, came together. Uh, as you see here, in this box, you got the flight controller, you got some instructions, and you got some wiring looms. So you got a basically wire harness that goes to the foreign ESC, which is here, the matching connectors. But if you want to use, uh, if you buy this separately, you want to use it with a different ESC. You do have another wiring harness with just the bare wires. And then uh, the flight controller comes with M4 holes, and these are silicon grommets that will convert the M4 holes to M3 holes. And that's for vibration dampening. This does have a ICM32K gyro on here, and it is an F4. Um, let's just look at the instructions here real quick. So, yeah, just come with some documentation and the Obviously the wiring diagram, uh, specs here, 2 to 6 S LiPo, it's got a 2 amp 5 volt BEC, so only a 5 volt, not an 8 volt or 9 volt. Shows you the dimensions here and the weight, so 4.5 grams. Now, this is interesting, it has, has some instructions here on the UARTs, the way it's configured. So out of the box, this does come with 4 UARTs configured as well as 2 soft serials configured. So there's a S soft serial 1 and a soft serial 2. And I'll show them, show those here on the board here in a second. But basically, they already have this configured in such a way so that you can use one of the soft serials for uh, Smart Audio or Tramp. Uh, I think they're using a TX1. And then Soft Serial 2 is RX4 is being used for, uh, I think, uh, ESC telemetry. So they have all this broken out already. So you have basically four regular UARTs as well as these two soft serials for things like Smart Audio and ESC telemetry. So... Yeah, this one's um, it's a very tight 20 by 20 board, but they really thought ahead and put in everything you could possibly need. I think you should have enough UARTs, even though it's just an F4 board. And yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll show you the board here, but I'll show you the, uh, um, the basically the layout of the board here. So you got your four and one uh, ESC uh, port in the, the bottom here. You see your ground batter, uh, battery voltage. Your four motor inputs, uh, current sensor, and soft serial 2, that's the ESC telemetry. Your camera VTX connections are up on top. And there's a couple solder bridges here for this voltage select here, as you see. 5 volt or battery voltage, and it's going to be for the positive here. And then you need either 5 volt or battery voltage for the camera. I guess, I guess this one would be, this, this is camera for both, I think this one on this side was for the VTX. Positive, so you have your TX1 here for soft serial video out to the VTX, and then plus and minus, and then over here the camera. You have your camera control. Uh, I think that's for am analog camera control. Video in plus and minus on this side for the camera. And then over here you have uh, UART4 broken out as RX4 TX4 and uh, UART2 here RX2 TX2. You have a pad here for telemetry. I think that's um, probably the one that corresponds to this one here. And then you have UART1, that's for your SBUS receiver or something like that. Um, uh, then you have uh, voltage, 3.3 volts, 5 volts and ground. So I think all this here is receiver related. And then over here on this side, you have your LED buzzer, uh, 5 volts and ground. This is for connecting up your buzzer and LED. So it's pretty uh, straightforward. The way the board's laid out, uh, there's nothing on the other side of this. It's just a piece of folded paper here. It's just blank on the other side. Now, it doesn't show you the other side of the uh, board because on the bottom side, it's completely blank. It's just the F4 chip. You have a 16 megabyte uh, black box chip here and OSD chip. And then, oh yeah, it does show here that there is a motor... Outputs 5 and 6 are on the bottom as solder pads if you want to have use a uh, 6 motor output for a hexacopter. Every boot button here, I th 
think that's uh, one of these here is your ICM dryer. I think it's that one there. And then again, as I mentioned uh, before, camera connections here, video transmitter here, and then your UARTs here, telemetry, um, buzzer, LED, and then your receiver connections here. And then this is your plug for the EC. So everything is very nicely laid out. The pads are for relatively big considering it's a 20 by 20 board. So it should be fairly easy to uh, solder this up. So I like, I really like the design on this one. This is very uh, easy. It should be very easy to put together and build. Okay, so taking a look at the um, 4-in-1 EC. So you got the EC of course here. You got some instructions. And then you got a bag here with uh, some spacers, some nylon spacers here. I think this uh, yeah, M3 holes. You got your, you get, it comes with an extra wiring harness here and some obviously beer wires inside. If you plug this in here and it goes to some un, un different brand of flight controller, so it just gives you flexibility there. And I think the uh, capacitor here, and so the capacitor is a 25 volt, 300. 30 microfarad, so it does go up to 6S, so it's a little on the small side, but yeah, it's, um, I believe this is a 35 amp, um, 4-in-1 EC, so looking at the specs here, yeah, so yeah, it's, um, it's interesting, it's a constant current output, 25 amp version, and there's a 35 amp version, so I think the one I got here is the 25 amp version, so Apparently there's another version of this that you could choose either a 25 amp or a 35 amp. So if you get the 25 amp, what I have here, it'll peak to 35, and a 35 amp will peak to 45. So I think um, that's probably you want to get the 35 amp version if you um, are maybe using something bigger, like a 5 inch, like a ultralight 5 inch, something like that, with a 20 by 20 stack. Yeah, I think that's probably what this is for. Yeah, 3 to 6, 3 to 6S on this one, whereas I think the flight controller is 2 to 6S. Feel all 32 firmware, and of course, as before, EAC telemetry and the current sensor, and it does show you the, the value of the default scale you should use is 170. It shows you the dimensions, and weight is about 8.5 grams. Now, they do have this 16 gauge wire here already soldered on, it's several inches, it looks like about 4 inches of wire, but no connector, so obviously. They don't give you one, but you can use either XC30, XC60, depending on what you're going to be using it for. And you can see here that this is the top of the board. This is the bottom of the board. The bottom of the board seems to be conformal coated, perhaps. You can see it's kind of shiny. Maybe to pre prevent moisture from hitting it from underneath. Like when you land, for example, on grass. So it's kind of cool. A lot of capacitors. So it should be some um, pretty good in terms of video filtering. And then uh, you have your solder pads on top here for this motor one, two, three, and four. Yeah, they're all labeled. And you can't solder on the bottom, it's only on the top. And you do have your a uh, you know, wiring harness connection here. And let's see, it should have a diagram in here. So yeah, it should correspond to the same ones that are on the flight controller, because it's the same brand. Ground, battery voltage, and you have motors one through four. Uh, current sensor and then ESC telemetry. And I believe that is it on the board. Uh, there's nothing, nothing again on the other side of this. Just a pretty basic board here and nice big current sensor shunt there. So this should work pretty good. Anyway, it's going to do it for this review of the uh, Econ Mini F4 flight tower. I will probably be putting this in something. I think the I'm looking like probably not right now the IH4. I'm, I think I'm doing a 6S 4 inch build with those uh, HGLRC 1408 motors I could recently use that or those Hobbymate 1506 motors. Still debating that, so I'm thinking that this will be a pretty good stack for something like that uh, as a sort of a 4 inch, maybe 6S or maybe like a long range, um, long flight time type of rig. So. So that's what I'm thinking about putting this in. Uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions about this. I put links to all this down in the description if you're interested. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.